The Book of the Courses of the Heavenly Luminaries Chapter 72 The Sun Chapter 72 The Book of the Courses of the Luminaries of the Heaven The Relations of Each According to Their Classes, Their Dominion, and Their Seasons According to Their Names and Places of Origin and according to their months, which Uriel, the holy angel who was with me, who is their guide, showed me. And he showed me all their laws exactly as they are, and how it is with regard to all the years of the world, and unto eternity, till the new creation is accomplished, which dureth till eternity. And this is the first law of the luminaries. The luminary, the sun, has its rising in the eastern portals of the heaven, and its setting in the western portals of the heaven. And I saw six portals in which the sun rises, and six portals in which the sun sets, and the moon rises and sets in these portals, and the leaders of the stars and those whom they lead, six in the east and six in the west, and all following each other in accurately corresponding order. Also many windows to the right and left of these portals. And first there goes forth the great luminary named the sun, and his circumference is like the circumference of the heaven, and he is quite filled with illuminating and heating fire. The chariot on which he ascends, the wind drives, and the sun goes down from the heaven and returns through the north in order to reach the east, and is so guided that he comes to the appropriate, literally, that portal, and shines in the face of the heaven. In this way he rises in the first month in the great portal, which is the fourth, those six portals in the cast. And in that fourth portal from which the sun rises in the first month are twelve window openings, from which proceed a flame when they are opened in their season. When the sun rises in the heaven, he comes forth through that fourth portal thirty mornings in succession, and sets accurately in the fourth portal in the west of the heaven. And during this period the day becomes daily longer, and the night nightly shorter to the thirtieth morning. On that day the day is longer than the night by a ninth part, and the day amounts exactly to ten parts, and the night to eight parts. And the sun rises from that fourth portal, and sets in the fourth, and returns to the fifth portal of the east thirty mornings, and rises from it, and sets in the fifth portal. And then the day becomes longer by two parts and amounts to eleven parts, and the night becomes shorter and amounts to seven parts. And it returns to the east and enters into the sixth portal, and rises and sets in the sixth portal one and thirty mornings on account of its sign. On that day the day becomes longer than the night, and the day becomes double the night, and the day becomes twelve parts and the night is shortened and becomes six parts. And the sun mounts up to make the day shorter and the night longer, and the sun returns to the east and enters into the sixth portal and rises from it and sets thirty mornings. And when thirty mornings are accomplished, the day decreases by exactly one part and becomes eleven parts and the night seven. And the sun goes forth from that sixth portal in the west and goes to the east and rises in the fifth portal for thirty mornings and sets in the west again in the fifth western portal. On that day, the day decreases by two parts and amounts to ten parts and the night to eight parts. And the sun goes forth from that fifth portal and sets in the fifth portal of the west and rises in the fourth portal for one and thirty mornings on account of its sign and sets in the west. On that day the day is equalized with the night, and becomes of equal length, and the night amounts to nine parts, and the day to nine parts. And the sun rises from that portal and sets in the west, and returns to the east, and rises thirty mornings in the third portal, and sets in the west in the third portal. And on that day the night becomes longer than the day, and night becomes longer than night, and day shorter than day, till the thirtieth morning, and the night amounts exactly to ten parts, and the day to eight parts. And the sun rises from that third portal and sets in the third portal in the west, and returns to the east, and for thirty mornings rises in the second portal in the east, and in like manner sets in the second portal in the west of the heaven. 
and on that day the night amounts to eleven parts and the day to seven parts. And the sun rises on that day from the second portal and sets in the west in the second portal, and returns to the east into the first portal for one and thirty mornings, and sets in the first portal in the west of the heaven. And on that day the night becomes longer and amounts to the double of the day. And the night amounts exactly to twelve parts and the day to six. And the sun has therewith traversed the divisions of his orbit and turns again on those divisions of his orbit and enters that portal thirty mornings and sets also in the west opposite to it. And on that night has the night decreased in length by a ninth part and the night has become eleven parts and the day seven parts. And the sun has returned and entered into the second portal in the east and returns on those his divisions of his orbit for thirty mornings, rising and setting. And on that day the night decreases in length, and the night amounts to ten parts and the day to eight. And on that day the sun rises from that portal, and sets in the west and returns to the east, and rises in the third portal for one and thirty mornings, and sets in the west of the heaven. On that day the night decreases and amounts to nine parts, and the day to nine parts, and the night is equal to the day, and the year is exactly as to its days, three hundred and sixty-four. And the length of the day, and of the night, and the shortness of the day, and of the night arise. Through the course of the sun these distinctions are made, literally they are separated. So it comes that its course becomes daily longer, and its course nightly shorter. And this is the law and the course of the sun, and his return, as often as he returns sixty times and rises. In other words, the great luminary which is named the sun, for ever and ever. And that which thus rises is the great luminary, and is so named according to its appearance, according as the Lord commanded. As he rises, so he sets, and decreases not, and rests not, but runs day and night, and his light is sevenfold brighter than that of the moon, but as regards size they are both equal. Now, before we move on to the smaller luminary, which is the moon, I want to explain something to you really, really quick, just in case you didn't understand it, because it's really, really simple. Now, here as you can see the flat earth map, you guys are familiar with this. Now, you know the summer solstice, the sun is... Uh, making its small circuit around the north and it works its way back out into the fall back out to the winter solstice which is on its uh, longer circuit okay now just in case you didn't understand what the portals meant i'm going to explain it really really quick now here i have uh i have uh, drawn a rough draft because i don't want to draw on my map so let me explain this really, really quick. Okay, you have your North Pole here and you have your South, which is the Southern Ice Wall. Okay, now in the Book of Enoch, when it says that the sun goes from the second portal into the, the first portal into the second, and then from the second into the third, well, it's really, really simple. All the portals basically are, or what they stand for, you gotta remember they're talking in ancient times. So in the winter, the sun starts to move in, which is, coming into the spring so month one month two month three month four month five month six half of the year it goes from the winter into the spring then into the summer that's six months it takes it six months to get to its inner circuit okay and then when you when you hear it reversed in the book of Enoch when it says then the Sun has made its circuit and it goes from portal six back to portal five and then from portal five back to portal four and then the nights get longer the nights start getting longer because the sun is moving back out in its circuit it's going back out to its winter solstice so therefore when it says portals it's going it sounds like it's going backwards when it says that when it says it goes from the sixth portal back to the fifth portal and then from back from the fifth portal to the fourth portal so it's really, really simple. I just wanted to explain that to you guys in case you didn't understand what the portals meant 
and uh, the 30 days, you know, you gotta remember a month, most months are 30 days, 31 days, depending on which month it's speaking. In ancient times, it still equals out to 364 days. But I just wanted to explain to you what those, what it means by portals, so you guys can understand it. Okay, now let's continue on with the Book of Enoch. Chapter 77, The Waxing and Waning of the Moon. Chapter 77, and the names of the sun are the following, the first, Orjares, and the second, Tomas, and the moon has four names. The first name is Esonja, the second, Ibla, the third, Benase, and the fourth, Irae. These are the two great luminaries. Their circumference is like the circumference of the heaven, and the size of the circumference of both is alike. In the circumference of the sun, there are seven portions of light which are added to it more than to the moon, and in definite measures it is transferred till the seventh portion of the sun is exhausted. And they set and enter the portals of the west and make their revolution by the north, and come forth through the eastern portals on the face of the heaven. And when the moon rises, one fourteenth part appears in the heaven, the light becomes full in her. On the fourteenth day she accomplishes her light, and fifteen parts of light are transferred to her till the fifteenth day when her light is accomplished, according to the sign of the year, and she becomes fifteen parts, and the moon grows by the addition of fourteenth parts. And in her waning the moon decreases on the first day to fourteen parts of her light, on the second to thirteen parts of light, on the third to twelve, on the fourth to eleven, on the fifth to ten, on the sixth to nine, on the seventh to eight, on the eighth to seven, on the ninth to six, on the tenth to five, on the eleventh to four, on the twelfth to three, on the thirteenth to two, on the fourteenth to the half of a seventh, and all her remaining light disappears wholly on the fifteenth. And in certain months, the month has twenty-nine days, and once twenty-eight. And Uriel showed me another law. When the light is transferred to the moon, and on which side it is transferred to her by the sun. During all the period during which the moon is growing in her light, she is transferring it to herself, when the opposite to the sun during the fourteen days, her light is accomplished in the heaven. And when she is illumined throughout, her light is accomplished full in the heaven. And on the first day she is called the new moon, for on that day the light rises upon her. She becomes full moon exactly on the day when the sun sets in the west, and from the east she rises at night, and the moon shines the whole night through till the sun rises over against her, and the moon is seen over against the sun. On the side whence the light of the moon comes forth, there again she wanes till all the light vanishes and all the days of the month are at an end, and her circumference is empty, void of light and three months she makes of thirty days, and at her time she makes three months of twenty-nine days each, in which she accomplishes her waning in the first period of time, and in the first portal for one hundred and seventy-seven days. And in the time of her going out she appears for three months of thirty days each, and for three months she appears of twenty-nine each. At night she appears like a man for twenty days each time, and by day she appears like the heaven, and there is nothing else in her save her light. Chapter 79 to 80 Recapitulation of Several of the Laws Chapter 79 And now, my son, I have shown thee everything, and the law of all the stars of the heaven is completed. And he showed me all the laws of these for every day and for every season of bearing rule, and for every year and for its going forth and for the order prescribed to it every month and every week. And the waning of the moon which takes place in the sixth portal, for in this sixth portal her light is accomplished, and after that there is the beginning of the waning. And the waning, which takes place in the first portal in its season, till one hundred and seventy-seven days are accomplished, reckoned according to weeks, twenty-five weeks and two days. She falls behind the sun and the order of the stars exactly five days in the course of one period, and when this place which thou seest has been traversed. 
Such is the picture and sketch of every luminary which Uriel the archangel, who is their leader, showed unto me. Chapter 80 And in those days the angel Uriel answered and said to me, Behold, I have shown thee everything, Enoch, and I have revealed everything to thee that thou shouldst see this sun and this moon, and the leaders of the stars of the heaven, and all those who turn them, their tasks and times and departures. And in the days of the sinners the years shall be shortened, and their seed shall be tardy on their lands and fields, and all things on the earth shall alter, and shall not appear in their time, and the rain shall be kept back, and the heaven shall withhold it. And in those times the fruits of the earth shall be backward, and shall not grow in their time, and the fruits of the trees shall be withheld in their time. And the moon shall alter her order, and not appear at her time. And in those days the sun shall be seen, and he shall journey in the evening, on the extremity of the great chariot in the west, and shall shine more brightly than accords with the order of light. And many chiefs of the stars shall transgress the order prescribed, and these shall alter their orbits and tasks, and not appear at the seasons prescribed to them. And the whole order of the stars shall be concealed from the sinners, and the thoughts of those on the earth shall err concerning them, and they shall be altered from all their ways, yea, they shall err, and take them to be gods. And evil shall be multiplied upon them, and punishment shall come upon them so as to destroy all. Chapter 81 And he said unto me, Observe, Enoch, these heavenly tablets, and read what is written thereon, and mark every individual fact. And I observed the heavenly tablets, and read everything which was written thereon, and understood everything, and read the book of all the deeds of mankind, and of all the children of flesh that shall be upon the earth to the remotest generations. And forthwith I blessed the great Lord, the King of glory, for ever, in that he has made all the works of the world. And I extolled the Lord because of his patience, and blessed him because of the children of men. And after that I said, Blessed is the man who dies in righteousness and goodness, concerning whom there is no book of unrighteousness written, and against whom no day of judgment shall be found. 